Hi guys, it's me again, and today we're gonna take a look at another Solitaire game. Red vs. Reverse, the Battle of Colenso, 1899, by Legion War Games. Down there. Designed by Geoff Noble, and additional design development, Godfrey Bailey. Let's take it out of the box. So, first we have two small dice and some plastic baggies for counters, which is appreciated. Then we have some big counters here. These are um, uh, variant counters, so I already took a look at the rules. Um, if you you can uh, modify the basic uh, scenario, the historical scenario, by introducing some positive and some negative modifying variants to alter the uh, the the flow of the game or the gameplay, which is quite interesting. So there is an a big number of uh, possible different playstyles you're getting there. So rules of play. These are 12 pages total, but the last page is design notes on four of the key mechanisms or uh, concepts in the game. Command, because command, friction command is one of the, the big, big uh, emphasis this game does. Forward location, so the British need to cross the river, don't know where. Then variable bower combat value, so uh, the strength of the Boer units, the commandos on the ridges hiding there and firing on the British is a changing. And confidence, this is uh, um, the British, uh, not the British, the Boer morale, so to say. And it gets higher and higher the longer they are able to hold back the British from crossing the river. Then, first page is a table of contents and I believe in the back there is also one and a half pages of order of battle which is interesting some suggested readings always appreciated if not the rules uh, include a bibliography so we have rules one two three four five six seven yeah, eight and a half pages of rules, really, and this is normal paper, a uh, little bit heavier paper, so to say. Black and white print, no problem, cleanly uh, layouted, uh, not too small, appreciated. Now we come to counter sheets, so we have here, and the sun is uh, putting some glare on here. Ooh. Let's move the camera a little bit. Um, British units here. Drift markers is forwards. Uh, the Boer units. Uh, strength markers. And um, these are brigades and regiments and so on. And you need to assign objectives for them every turn. But... Uh, um, other than in, in, in most of war games, the player does not have total control over uh, his units and subordinates. They might do something totally different if they do anything at all. That is something I'm, I'm missing, the friction in command, uh, in many war games. So, um, and that's the reason why I picked this one up. Haven't played it before. So some status markers and events and disruption and uh, step losses and so on. The map, we were gonna take a look at that in a second. Let's get out all the charts and tables. So these are heavy cardstock, uh, fold out but only printed on one side. So you can put it down on the table. Uh, status, uh, fire modifiers for British and Boer, unit recovery, all that tables that you need. Then again, an overview for the variants I uh, talked about already, what I mentioned already. And you have to balance 
things out. So if you take, let's say, the negative river crossing modifier, which gives a minus two, you need to take modifiers that sum up to plus two, so you come, uh, you equal out in the end, uh, as a, a counter, so to say, to that. So you could take inclement weather and no strength counter, or just a something with, with a plus two, like combat at west or so. Interesting. British went chart, also only printed on one side, which is great for putting it down. Terrain effects chart, Boer event chart, and Boer targeting example, also as one of these heavy cardstock prints. And then we have the map, and I will unfold it, but it won't fit on the table, so this is one-fourth of the map, it's area movement. We have Boer fire procedure chart here, um, British fire procedure chart. Here you can uh, track the variants you're playing with, with the, with the large counters. Starting positions of the British around Shooters Hill here. They are trying to cross the Tugela River where there are the Boer forces on the ridges. And turning this around, we have a very long sequence of play here with very detailed step-by-step -step things you have to do. Uh, we will see how, how tight some this it will be to, to follow through this or how quick you gonna be used to it. Yeah, and then some historical uh, objective here, Langwane, and uh, yeah. The, the city of Colan, so you can see it, right? It's carefully bend it over. It's here, right at the river. Okay, cool. So, hope you enjoyed this one. I'm really looking forward to, especially, as I said, because of the friction command mechanics, to try this one out. And I'm pretty sure we're gonna see some playthrough videos on this channel. So, take care. Goodbye, guys.